This movie demonstrates how to work with project clips, sometimes known as design snippets, in Proteus. Let's start by showing you how to save and load a matching section of schematic and layout for use in future projects. And we'll use the USB interface circuitry for our example. The first thing to do is organise the schematic so that you can draw a selection box around everything you want. You can't have a project clip that spans schematic sheets, so you need to move everything around until you have a logical block that you can select. Once you have a selection on the schematic, switch to the layout module. You may find it useful here to drag and drop the layout into a separate window so that you can view the design and layout side by side. We now need to select all of the circuitry that matches our schematic selection. If you are working on a completed board, this may mean you need to temporarily move things around. Having drawn your selection box, we recommend that you switch the selection filter into Enclose mode. This will prevent you exporting a bunch of loose tracks. When you have your selection box set up in Aries, right click and select Export Project Clip from the context menu. If your selection doesn't match, you will get a list of components that are not present in both the schematic and the layout. In our case, we mistakenly caught a couple of resistors above the USB circuitry. We could either clear them out of the way or simply draw our selection box more carefully. Note that you can resize and move the box after it's been placed to restrict or expand the selected items. This time we have the same parts tagged on the schematic and the layout, so the project clip is saved to disk. Let's close the project and bring the project clip into a new project. We do this from the Import Project Clip command on the File menu. You must import into the schematic module first, as this will make sure there are no annotation clashes with other circuitry on the design. After placing on the schematic, you may be able to simply position on the layout. In our case, however, we have an unassigned power net in the project clip, which is a netlist error. To fix this, we need to create a power supply in the Power Rail Configuration dialog and assign our power net to the supply. Now we can drop a board edge down and then go ahead and place our project clip as a single entity on the layout. During placement, the project clip behaves as a block, but once placed, all of the footprints and tracks can be individually edited. If you need to reposition after placement, simply drag a box, set the selection filter and move into place. We have a few missing connections to sort out. This is because the sourced layout had ground planes and our new project does not. The rule is that only planes that are fully enclosed by the selection box are saved with the project. We assume otherwise that planes will already be on the new board or will be placed across four layers. We'll do that now placing a ground plane on top copper, then routing the last missing connection manually. We have a few rogue vias which we can delete to tidy up. While easily done, it would have been far better for us to take a bit more time and care in removing the items from the source board before export of the project clip. We can now look at a further example of the benefit of project clips. When working with sub-circuits, it's not uncommon to have the same circuitry duplicated several times. This will happen automatically with project clips, provided that the sub-circuits are placed and have the same circuit name before the project clip is imported. In this example, we now have four sub-circuits with the same name ready for design. We go to the schematic sheet for the first circuit and import the clip as before. If we return to our root sheet and look at the second circuit, we can see the layout is placed for us and the annotation follows on from that of the first circuit. The Design Explorer will confirm this for all circuits.
Now, in Aries, following placement of a board edge, we see all four clips ready for placement. As with placing a single clip, each one is placed on the board as a whole. After placement, if we wish to move components as one, then we are required to draw a tag box around all parts, and use the selection filters at the bottom to ensure tracks and wires are moved with the components. You can also have schematic only project clips. Typically, these are used for simulation purposes, such as for Arduino shields. You create a schematic only project clip by selecting all the objects you want to include and then exporting from the context menu. You will then be prompted to confirm that the resulting project clip contains no layout data.